Uh, yeah, look, it's it's obviously been a it's been a tough championship, and I think to get to get a win today, you know, it, it was nice to get the win and, and not to be standing here and sort of trying to justify uh, what we're doing. You know, look, obviously there like there has been throughout the championship, there are aspects of that performance today that we're, we're pleased with, and there's other aspects that we know we need to be a lot better going forward. But like I think just just to get the win is just nice, you know, to be in a changing room where, where boys are. Uh, enjoying themselves, and I think it's something that that we talked about probably yesterday. Is that look, it's a special championship, and it's a special championship to play in. But actually, something that a lot of the boys haven't experienced yet. It's an unbelievable championship if you can go out and get a win in as well. So I think to to get that and to score 58 points, you know, you've got to be pleased, and it was nice. Joe, was that your best performance? I think elements of it were. I think one of the really unfortunate things for Italy is is that they lost a few players early on. I think that um, that allowed us a bit of time and space to play. And we, when we were afforded that time and space, I think that the players capitalised on it really well. Um, converted some really good scores. Uh, we probably haven't had a lot of luck uh, with scores. You know, obviously one against France and one against England that weren't awarded. To finally release the pressure valve is. is is uh, is nice, but as Rory said, I think uh, had Italy stayed intact, we just know how tough the arm wrestles have been with Italy over over recent times. Obviously, our last uh, match in the uh, Rugby World Cup was only one score game, and um, you know when you look at their performances through the championship so far, um, after 52 minutes, they're 11 nine down against England. Um, they were dropped all the way from beating France at the start of France, and uh, you know they, they they've just been so competitive. Even even last week with Scotland, um, it was very very tough for Scotland. I think at one stage after 70 minutes, they uh, Italy had had 142 possessions in the Scottish 22, as opposed to 28 possessions that Scotland had had. Um, that in itself uh, is a warning sign to us that. With those 28 positions, Scotland managed to accumulate the score they did. So, uh, you know, that, they're, they're an entirely different threat that we've got coming up uh, next weekend. Nothing of note at this stage. I, I, I'd like to think that we've we've come through, certainly some bumps and bruises, a few stitches. Um, you know, uh, Robbie got one above the eye. Uh, Andrew Trimble had a, uh, a bloody nose, and uh, Keith Hills had a bit of blood in his mouth and, and um, got a couple of stitches in his lip, I think. But apart from that, they're, they're all pretty superficial. Is Ken Healy likely to be fit next week? I, I, I think Ken, Owen Redden, and Rob Carney will all be fit next week. Um, that's that's part of why we tried to do what we did this week, not to push guys through and uh, and risk what we're pretty minor strains but they were strains and they were visible and therefore there was a risk that, that we would fully tear a muscle if we, uh, if we push them through.